Hello everyone, this is Kok Gay and welcome to ADKC Home Improvement Show. This is Pantene Flex Seal T200, UV resistant, elastomeric, waterproofing coating. And this is Pantene T100 or T100 Pro Bituminous PU waterproofing coating. Wait, are they the same waterproofing coating? Maybe not. In this video, check out our frequently asked questions, FAQs, and learn how you can easily differentiate between them. Here is a sample layout model of a RC flat roof or balcony with both horizontal floor and vertical wall. This is fiber cement board to simulate concrete substrate. Angles and corners are the weakest point in waterproofing system. You can treat them either by installing angle fillets a mixture of cement, sand and latex polymers to form a 45 degree angle or by reinforcing the areas using fiber fabrics. Vertical wall, especially in shower or bath area. May I ask, have you ever experienced damp surface on the other side of the wall which is shared by your bathroom? Ugly patches, paint peeling off the wall and discomfort odor. Now you know why you must apply waterproofing system. Drainage outlet, another potential failure spot. PVC or plastic pipe does not stick very well with concrete and cement render, which can lead to potential water seepages and leakages. Don't believe me? Take a view from your ground level. How about floor tiles or cement grouting lines? Which one to blame? Well, to be honest with you, very unlikely. And that is also the main reason why you should apply a good waterproofing system right from the beginning. Here are some of the favorite questions asked by fellow audience when it comes to waterproofing. What is the best time to apply waterproofing? In the example, Pantene's Flex Seal T200. Personally, I would suggest in the morning or late afternoon, where the surface and the above surface temperature are much cooler within the 5 degree 250 degree of application temperature. Please remember that high temperature will expedite the evaporation process that will cause the waterproofing to bind immaturely, which can lead to potential waterproofing failures. How long can Pantene Flex Seal T200 last? Without any prejudice, I would suggest a recoating between 3 to 4 years for optimal performance. However, Due to external factors such as harsh weather, poor preparation and workmanship, and wrong application procedure, this may greatly reduce its durability. What is the difference comparing to Pantene's T100 or T100 Pro? Both are single component, water-based, waterproofing solution, flexible and can be elongated. In terms of physical appearance, T200 looks like rubbery liquid while T100 or T100 Pro similar to asphalt coating. For your information, T200 can be used in exposed area, in example, flat roof and balcony, but with less traffic volume. Why? Because any cuts or damages on the protective membrane may compromise the entire waterproofing system. On the other hand, T100 or T100 Pro non-exposed or not suitable for sunlight exposure as it turns brittle under heat. What is the solution? You need to apply a layer of protection, for example, cement or cement render. You may hear about waterproofing products having hundreds of percentage in elongation. What does that mean? What is elongation? Elongation is the ability of the membrane to stretch, measured in percentage. For example, an elongation of 150% means that the membrane can stretch to 1.5 times when pulled. Waterproofing membrane will expand and shrink as temperature changes. Therefore, you need a solution that has a very good elongation so that it won't crack or tear. Here is another scientific fact. Elongation works opposite with tensile strength. The higher the elongation, the lower the tensile strength. For a good waterproofing product, manufacturers always need to find a balance between these two. Are you ready for waterproofing? No hurry, we have plenty of waterproofing videos that you might be interested of. In my personal opinion, there's nothing better than trying it out all by yourself. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. Bye-bye.